Hey everybody, Tim Shea with the Shea Group Realty of Keller Williams in Beverly, Massachusetts. You know, Beverly is such a great town. There's so many things up and coming about Beverly that I thought I'd take you on a little tour this week with another episode of helping you stay connected and getting to know your neighborhood. So why don't you come with me while we take a tour of Beverly. This place is called the Cumming Center. It was originally built in 1902 as a United Shoe Machine Corporation. It closed its doors in 1986, but in 1996 it was bought by Cummings Property and has since then become one of the most profitable business centers on the East Coast. This place is massive, and for a lot of people who want to live outside the city, this is a great place to work. Tons of businesses in here. This here is the Beverly Depot. It's the first stop on the MBTA train system into Beverly. It's one of five different stops in Beverly coming directly from North Station. Beverly has a newly renovated garage that just got finished last year. So for people looking to leave the city behind and actually move up into the suburbs, but to be within a 25 minute train ride from here, Beverly Depot is your stop. So in 1775, the schooner Fame was commissioned. It actually was commissioned by the US Army to go ahead and fight in the war. And that was actually the birthplace of the US Navy. So Beverly says, if you'll go across the harbor and ask Marblehead, they may have a differing story. But Beverly itself is known as Washington's first naval base and the birthplace of the American Navy. You know, Beverly is blessed with the rich coastline. I'm sitting here on Independence Beach, but this is the start. Juniper Cove is right down there. Independence Beach here. We've got Dane Street Beach right there. Off in the distance, you can see Lynch Park and the coastline just keeps wrapping right around with hidden little gems of beaches scattered out in between. Sometimes it's like a treasure hunt trying to find all these private little beaches, but definitely Beverly has tons of beaches. Beverly's downtown has grown tenfold over the years with the rejuvenation and renovation of downtown Cabot Street. Standing outside the Cabot Theater, which was bought by a group of investors to restore the glory of its old days, you want to catch a live show, Amazing acts are here. You can go see a movie. Across the street, you can go ahead and get a drink at Chianti and catch some blues. Great spot in downtown Beverly. There's everything you need on Cabot Street. You want to talk colleges? Beverly has two. We have Endicott College just up the road, right on the coastline, with 23 bachelor programs, and Montserrat College of Art. It's a visual arts college. One of the main reasons, too, that Beverly has gone through such a great and cultural renovation. Be sure to check them out. So I hope you enjoyed your tour of Beverly with me today. What a great town with so much to offer. And on a beautiful day like today, what better way to end it than a round of golf or just practicing your putting. Beverly Golf and Tennis here, it's a great staple in the community and it's a great course. You'll want to check it out. You guys know you can always find me on the web at mistalista.com or you can call or text me at 781-789-5128. Take care.